So, um, so we are going to, because we are going to discuss more about the algorithm, we are going to have a little bit more complex algorithm than insertion and deletion in the linked risk case or salary based case. So we are going to introduce one specific algorithm, sorting algorithm of your, your first algorithm uh, in this slide. So it's called selection sort. There are many different types of the sorting algorithms, right? And this is one particular thing because it's much easier, right? There are various of sorting methods and selection sort, quick sort, merge sort. We are going to cover this later, right? Uh, but it's one of the easiest. And this insertion deletion sort, these are so much easy to, to analyze. So we are going to one step, go, we would like to go, go one step further. And this is one of the particular example of the pseudo code, right? If you type in uh, this in, this kind of instructions in the MATLAB console, will it run? Or script editor, will it run? Of course not. But you see that this delivers how you can program it. There is a for loop, there is a if statement, and, then, and you have to uh, swap a certain variable values, and you are going to return the list. This specifies what the inputs are, what the outputs are, and what are the uh, behaviors of these instructions. And these are all kind of contained in this uh, written um, description of the algorithm. It's not going to learn in a certain uh, programming uh, language. Uh, it's not definitely. It's not going to be a valid MATLAB program, right? for a starter proof doesn't look like this right however this conveys the idea of the algorithm is called pseudo code right that's the definition and an example of the pseudo code actual implementations becomes much clearer right like this so this is one of the example of implementing it so we have a different set of the kind of um, iterations here uh, you can take this and you can take the other way actually it's kind of same um, I'm just um, mm, this is a really bit more efficient way and this is what really bit uh, more sl a slower way but fundamentally it's the same so anyhow this is the this this is the actual implementations of the pseudo code all right so let's see what happens in this sorting algorithm. And for, 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 for an example, uh, um, we would like to see the execution result first. So I created 100 uh, random numbers and when we display it, um, the 10, uh, does it, yeah, 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 it's, it's 10 random numbers, right? And the this is a display of the 10 random numbers and, and after sorting, after sorting, we have the sorted list from the maximum number to the, uh, in the descending order. We don't have any no order here and we have descending order here, right? So how this selection sort works? Actually, it works like this. So first, um, this part is for the, uh, the for the default part. The, it, this is called what is polymorphism, right? And if you don't know about the polymorphism, I'd like to advise you to go back to the week to to see uh, to understand what this means, right? So you have to go back. And this is just the setting up some variables, right? And this is the key. So we are going to learn the iteration. And let's imagine we have uh, this following case. Um, this three, uh, one, two case, right? We have n is what, n is uh, three, and this is equals three, one, and two, right? So we are going to learn from one to how many, two, and the iterations, the inside of for loop, there is another for loop, right? It's nested for loop. And this for loop det determines what the, if, because it's going to learn one to two, right? Um, this, the first for loop will learn 
how many? These are two, two, three. Because one plus one is two and n is three. So it's going to be the first loop is going to be two, two, three. And this ITR one is one at this point. Uh, let's make it simple, right? Ah, it's so crowded. Let me erase a little bit. Mm, all right. So I have much space here. Good. So let's make a simple table here. This is called ITR1. This is called ITR2, right? And for the time being, the ITR1 will run um, 1 to 2. 1 to 2. And that's the first loop. And the other loop is going to be 2 to 3, right? Because ITR1 will be what are uh, the uh, 1. Um, so ITR1 at this moment is 1, right? ITR2 is at this moment, at, at this if, if state moment, is 2. Means what? Means that we are comparing ITR1's, uh, one, ITR1's uh, index value is 3, right? And ITR2's, okay, so I'm going to erase a little bit here. So ITR uh, two's index is two, and we are going to uh, compare the second value here. And three one means that is it right? Uh, three one. It's false. So we are going to skip this if statement, and then we we go back to the ITR two, right? And what means here? It means what? It means that we are in the descending order, at least for this 3 and 1, right? And then what happens is that our next uh, ITR2 value, still ITR1, ITR2 hasn't finished it yet, so ITR1 is just 1. ITR2 is going to be 3, right? And um, this if statement meet again, and what happens is that comparing 3 and comparing 2, and 3, 2. It's false. M means that it is in descending order. So we are going to skip this if statement, right? And then this ITR2 ends here. And it goes back and ITR1 um, becomes the updated, right? And ITR1 becomes uh, the 2 because it's about the 1, it's, it's, two, it's, it's from 1 to 2. So it's now the 2, right? And then ITR2 uh, becomes the second loop becomes what? Yeah, 3 by 3, right? So the ITR2 becomes 3. And then what happens? ITR1 uh, is pointing at uh, this, uh, this element and ITR2 is pointing at this element. 1, 2, right? And then actually this is true. It means that it's in ascending order, it should be corrected. So what happens is that we are going to swap the value of this. And then what happens is that we are going to make this 2 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 2 because we are swapping it. And then uh, ITR2 finishes and then at the same time ITR1 finishes. So it's the end of this uh, sorting. The result is that it's going to be 3, 2, 1. It's all in descending order. So it means that it's sorted out, right? So that's how this sorting algorithm works. This program utilizes the data structure uh, called list here. And the algorithm is going to be the selection sort. Right? So, um, this is more about the example of the selection sort execution. So, um, if we have this long uh, list, right? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10. Uh, we have 10 elements, right? And n equals 10. n equals 10 means that ITR1 will iterate. 1 will iterate from 1 to 9. For each ITR1, 
we have ITR2 values here. So ITR1, when ITR1 is actually 1, ITR2 becomes what? 2 to uh, 10, right? And it's going to be 9 iterations, right? I'm sorry about this, all the errors. Uh, the ITR1 and ITR2 becomes 2. ITR1 and ITR2 becomes 3. ITR1 and ITR4 becomes uh, right this. So we have we have iterate iterative if statement visit here, right? So we uh, this is only the case of ITR1 is 1. If ITR1 becomes 2, ITR2 becomes uh, 3 to 9 and it's going to be 8 iterations. ITR1 when ITR1 becomes uh, what are uh, the 9 and ITR2 becomes what are uh, the 10 to 10 and actually this is going to be 10 and it's going to be 1 iteration and 8 iterations of the uh, if statements of the if statements of the if statements inside of this one right so if you um, call it uh, if you aggregate the number of runs it's going to be 9, it's going to be 8, it's going to be 1, means that you have to add up uh, to the, from 9 to the 1, and the total number of the executions of these if statements are, of course, the 45 iterations, right? It's um, 55 minus 10, right? And it's going to be, mathematically, it's going to be like this, right? It's just sigma of sigma, right? I equals 1 to what? Uh, n minus 1 and j equals what? j equals um, i plus 1, right? And this is what? The uh, n and that's going to be 1. And when we add up like this, the result is going to be uh, like this, right? So that's what we are doing. And right. Um, so we what we did is that we mathematically uh, showed uh, the number of iterations of this uh, selection sort algorithm. And it will require this many iterations if the size of the um, vector, size of the list is n, right? 